Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. US 30 actually had an update yesterday but slowly grinding down lower again this morning as uh, the markets await the uh, the Fed meeting which is uh, which is due to kind of finish up, starts today, finishes up tomorrow, looking for more clues as to um, US interest rates. Is it likely at the end of 2014 or the start of 2015? Um, it's kind of causing a, a kind of resurgent US dollar to uh, to wrestle control from the majors after retracing slightly yesterday and uh, the US market struggling to break uh, a little bit higher this morning. So the Dow trading between two ranges, next potential support at 16,969. And obviously only two days to go before the Scottish referendum in the UK. So uh, UK 100 uh, starting the session today slightly down, um, heading towards potential support at 6,774. Um, polls are still pretty much neck and neck and uh, cable has just started to move lower first thing this morning as uh, we get into the last two days of campaigning before the vote. Um, Japan 225 um, trying to re-challenge potential resistance at 15.987 as dollar yen begins to shoot back up again just slightly below that six and a half year high. Uh, we're currently trading at 107 spot, um, spot 27 uh, which is going to be good for Japanese equities. Slowly edging higher this morning. It's been quite a volatile morning already. I'll be interested to see how that pans out obviously with that um, big Fed meeting taking place for the next two days. So looking at dollar yen in this instance, um, you can see that it's been struggling to break above. I think the recent high has actually been 107 spot 40. So that will be the next short term potential resistance. Obviously longer term potential resistance, 110, oh, sorry, 110 spot 77. Um, but it looks to be that we might be building short term support uh, at the bottom of the candle legs around about 106 or pretty much 107. It was 106 spot 98. Moving on to crude oil, West Texas, volatile as ever. As soon as it hit uh, 91 spot 28, bounced right back up again, uh, but it's not only fall through again today. So short term potential resistance, 92 spot 85, longer term potential uh, support, sorry, at 91 spot 28 still remaining. So if this pressure is constant, we might have a retest of that at some point soon, but we've got two levels of support now to break through, 92 spot 85, 91 spot 28. And we've got crude oil inventories tomorrow as well. Um, gold is uh, not really quite sure exactly what it wants to do because of the uncertainty from China should be causing uh, people to get safe haven assets. But then the interest rate and potential interest rate hike in the US is really capping any uh, potential rallies. So the pressure still remains and the tips of these candles are indicative of the selling pressure each time it tries to move that a little bit higher. Um, next potential support still remains at 1218 and uh, the technicals are oversold at the moment, but there's not yet a signal to buy back. So um, from the technical perspective, there's still a little bit of weakness there. Moving on to uh, Euro dollar. Um, Euro dollar um, spiked lower yesterday. Uh, we didn't get quite close to that potential resistance at one spot, uh, 30. Um, but we are just getting this period of, uh, of, uh, of higher lows uh, kind of materializing. Uh, so we're building up a little bit, ba a little bit of a base, um, but we're not really able to uh, to push on that that little bit higher right now. So I think um, people are waiting to find out what's uh, what's happening with the eurozone in regards to any uh, QE or any stimulus measures. While waiting to find out what happens with the US dollar, but people begin to take bets that the Fed will raise rates sooner rather than later. And um, GBP USD is a uh, hit resistance for the last couple of days, moving lower this morning. Uh, as the UK 100 continues to lose its momentum and is moving uh, slightly lower this morning as well. Um, I think it's going to be kind of volatile over the next couple of days, depending on how the polls go, because obviously if uh, Scotland goes independent, that could have quite a big impact on uh, GBP USD. It'd be quite volatile anyway. Uh, so the next potential support still remains at one spot 60, 0, 9. So economic data wise, we do have a whole pile of uh, UK stuff today. You've got uh, Bank of England minutes and um, UK employment data, which will be keenly watched today. We've got Eurozone um, CPI data. That's actually on the right day. That's actually tomorrow, <laughs> my mistake. We've got CPI data today and RPI data at 9.30 UK time and then ZEW business report. And obviously, as I've already covered for Wednesday, Bank of England minutes and employment and Eurozone CPI, US CPI, and then you've got crude oil inventories and the Fed funds rate at 7 p.m. UK time. So lots and lots of fundamental data out tomorrow and keep your eye on the chart form as ever make insights part of your late going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next